thing? What is that thing? Thing, thing. That thing can sing. Very good. Hey y'all, happy Friday. I'm actually straightening up my room. That's why you see all these purses back here. <laughs> they came from downstairs. I need to stuff them and put them away. Um, but I was putting away all my stuff, like I said, and I actually bought two pairs of shoes that I wanted to share with y'all real quick. Um, so I purchased two pairs of shoes from Steve Madden today and it's at the outlet mall. So I'm not sure if it's like a regular Steve Madden store or like an outlet store. I'm really not sure. Um, but, uh, I picked up these and this is what they look like. They're clear and they have these studs, like the Valentino inspired type studs. But what I do like about these is this is not a style that Valentino even does. Um, so this is like their own thing, even though clearly it's inspired by Valentino because I mean, they kind of started this whole rock stud movement <laughs> but uh yeah these are really nice i would show them to you on my feet they look really cute on my feet but honestly i need to do my feet like my pedicure i need to do a pedicure on my feet or go get them done really bad so i'm not showing y'all but these are really cute i'm sure you'll see me wearing them at some point but yeah they're really really cute um they are called capsize clear and i bought them in my regular size nine and they were, there was another pair of shoes that I wanted to look at in there, which they actually did not have, but they had ones that were very similar. Um, and, um, so yeah, I saw them online, I think. And here they are. So these are some sneakers that to me kind of, what is that? Oh, that's just like a piece of something on there. But yeah, so these are like some casual type sneakers and I think they're supposed to be like Golden Goose dupes. Or they're not dupes, but I guess they are probably inspired by Golden Goose sneakers and Golden Goose sneakers have actually grown on me. Probably not the plain white ones, but the glittery ones I definitely like and some of the other ones I do like, but I, I can't pay $500 for any sneakers, so yeah i got these good old ones here <laughs> and they're actually really cute on and i like the colors um i didn't want to get plain white because i do have um plain white converse that i wear quite a bit and i also like the stan smith so i was thinking i might get some stan smith so i don't really need any plain white but i wanted some with a little bit of embellishment but not too much so these were perfect i tried them on they feel comfortable i'm not sure if they you know i haven't walked around in them yet so i'm not sure if they're going to be like walking on clouds or whatever but they felt comfortable in the store so yeah i thought these were cute and they would be nice to wear as like a, a dressier sneaker than like nike per se so yeah that's them and they are called they're by madden girl it's called the lark and it's the gold snake print and they had some other prints in this too um, so yeah, I'll have to let y'all know how these work out and really excited to have these. So I guess the pricing would be helpful. <laughs> um, so yeah, they were buy one, get one 50% off. They were $59.99 or $59.95 each. So then buy one, get one half off. But then she also gave me an extra 10% off, um, for being a Steve Madden Pass member. So yeah. So that was nice. So total for both pairs of shoes was $90. And I'm pretty happy with that. Because I was actually looking at some tennis shoes, like Golden Goose dupes on Amazon. They were like $40. Um, but I feel better getting Steve Madden because at least I'm like familiar with the brand. It's not, you know, <laughs> some brand I've never heard of that I'm kind of taking a big risk on. <laughs> so yeah, that's it.
Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I wanted to come on real quick because I got a new organizational piece for my perfumes. <sighs> yeah, I said I wasn't going to do that, but I did. So <laughs> um, just to be able to spread them out a little bit better because um, I found that like I was... um. I was running out of space, let's just be honest. But also, like, some of my bottles were, like, so tight together that I felt like when I'm pulling it out, I have to pull it by the top. And then I risk breaking it. You know, like, if the top isn't, like, secured on really good, I could drop it. And I did that quite a couple of times. And so I realized I probably need to kind of space them out a little bit so I can easily grab the bottle um, so I don't break, like, a whole bottle of perfume. But anyway, so uh, I got that new piece back there. So I was just going to quickly show you how I changed. Um, so this piece is still the same. Only thing that changed was I took some bottles out of it, kind of moved some stuff around. But other than that, it's the same. And then this piece was what was holding all my Tom Ford and Joe Malone. It used to be up there on that shelf. Now it's down here. And this is just some of my smaller bottles. Uh, so yeah. Oh, let me mention this real quick. So this is C by Chloe. And I've had this for quite a while. And I'm actually like almost out of it. It kind of like does that camel spit type of spray right now. Um, because it's so far down. But I still have some left in there. So I'm still using it. But I realized I was almost out of it probably in... Well, I know when it was. It was after I went out of town. So that was in November. Uh, I took this out of town with me. And I love this fragrance. Um, even though I've had it for a long time, I still really enjoy it. But I found out it's discontinued. And so I went on the hunt trying to find it, um, searching all the little sites. Like uh, you can find it on eBay and stuff and Amazon, but it's highly overpriced. So I ended up finding it on Macari. The first one I ordered, the person sent me the wrong thing. They listed it as the perfume, but it was actually um, the Old Fresh, which is different. And so I got a refund on that, but I actually ended up finding a bottle on Mercari for a good price. So that's this one here. Where are we? Right here. All right. So this is my new bottle that I got. It's almost full. It's not a brand new bottle. I, a person, it seems they just didn't use it. Um, but this is a 1.7 ounce and it's the Eau de Parfum. I smelled it. It smells exactly the same. Um, yeah, so, and I got this for a really good price. It was, I think, I think I paid like $29 for it or something. So that's a really good price for this, especially since it's discontinued and it's basically full. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection again. Well, I mean, I still have it, but I'm so excited to have that bottle because like I said, I love this and I had stopped using it. Um, so that I wouldn't use it up, but now I can use it again. I probably, I actually might wear it today, but anyway. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's this tray. <laughs> and this, this is the new thing. So this is actually a cupcake holder that I got off Amazon. Uh, but it's like an acrylic, um, just an acrylic stand. And I kind of wanted something to go a little bit more vertical. Um, I don't know why. I just wanted to try that out. So, Right now, I have all my replica fragrances and Mancera in the back and a couple Killian, my MFK. This one is new. I had a credit. Yeah, I had a credit and then Neiman Marcus ran like a money off sale. So I ended up ordering this. And then up top is my Angel Muse and Angel, regular Angel because they don't stand up. <laughs> So yeah, so I'll show you what it looks like from this angle. So that's what it looks like at the front. And then up here, I still have my Tom Fords and Joe Malone's, but I moved them into these trays, which used to be down here, but I never really liked them down here. So I moved them up here and there's Tom Ford and there's Joe Malone. And they kind of look uneven, which bothers me a bit because I have more Tom Ford than I do of Joe Malone. <laughs> but I did sell one bottle of Joe Malone that I wasn't using, yeah. And then these are my roller balls and all, and I need to find a better solution for these or use up some of them um, because honestly, they look super messy. I keep some samples in here, that the ones that I actually want to use myself. Um, so yeah, I need to find a better solution. 
I also need to clean out those boxes back there. I usually will save my perfume boxes until I'm sure I want to keep the fragrance <laughs> and then I'll get rid of them. So those I know I'm keeping, so I need to actually throw those boxes away. Oh, I didn't show y'all this tray, but this is the same tray I had before. It was just, it was sitting here before. So now I just pushed it back and just a few bottles back there. So yeah, that's it. Just wanted to quickly show y'all that. And now I'm not getting any more storage, guys. <laughs> if I fill this up, because I still have room for a few more bottles. If I fill this up, then I need to sell some before I can get any more. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. I'm actually getting ready to put on my fragrance for the day. And I know I was talking about wearing this one, but honestly, I have worn it like the past few days. <laughs> So I'm going to wear one that I told myself I was going to be wearing this spring. And that is this one here. It's Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Bloc. So you can see I have used it, but I don't use it that much. So this will be my scent today. It's coconutty, but also fresh. And yeah, like a sophisticated sunscreen type scent with a little bit of like citrus in it. So yeah, this will be my fragrance today. And just if you're wondering, today it is like a spring day. It's not quite spring yet, but it is like a spring day. It's currently 71 degrees. Yeah. So that's like a spring day for us. <laughs> hey, y'all. So I actually went to TJ Maxx earlier. I wanted to share, you, share with you the couple items that I picked up. <sighs> Sorry, y'all probably hear no in the background. But these earrings, I love. They're like little beads. Um, but they are a hoop. So yeah, these are super cute. Can't wait to wear these. They're only $7.99. And, and then the two like beauty type items that I got were such great steals. They were having like a, they have a lot of their beauty stuff on clearance. So I got this, which I've purchased before. I actually have some of this now in my, um, cabinet. Um, so I'm, I already have one of these open, but I saw this. And it was on clearance for four dollars, y'all. Four dollars. And this is from Camille Rose. It's the however you say that, Kupasu sweet cream. So this is like a really heavy moisturizer and it smells like cake batter. So like I said, I have one of these open right now. I don't use it every day because I don't want to smell like cake batter every day, but I do really enjoy the smell of this. So I pick this up. And if I go back there again and see another one, I'll be picking up another one because I think this is limited edition. Um, the first time I bought it, or actually the first two times I bought it was from Target, so yeah. And then I also picked up this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid, and this is in the shade Topaz. I do really like the formula of these. I think I have this in the shade Prosecco Pop right now. So I was happy to see this one, and guess how much this was, y'all? $9.99. It says compare at $13, but these are actually like, I think like $30 in the store. I think it's over $30 in the store. So yeah, that was a steal. They had some other colors and I had to stop myself from buying them. Cause I'm like, really Aisha, do you ever use these type of products up? <laughs> so yeah, I only bought the one, but super excited have found that. So yeah, that was it. Um, I don't shop at TJ Maxx and Marshalls as much as I used to. Like, I still love them, but I try to stay out of there because, you know, I like to shop and I have the tendency to buy things that I don't need, <laughs> as y'all already know. And so, um, yeah, one of the ways that I try to cut back on my spending is not to go in those places as much as I used to.